So the movie goes like this. The biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes and people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs and keep taking them over and over. I threw the script away. I mean, who is gonna believe that crazy idea? What's up guys, it's your boy Benny, legendary Hollywood actor Woody Harrelson was hosting Saturday Night Live last night, and as the name indicates, it is live TV, and Woody Harrelson went off script and started to absolutely drop red pills and black pills from the sky, leading to headlines like this today. SNL goes anti-vax? Host Woody Harrelson likes in Pfizer and Moderna to drug cartels during opening monologues slamming mandates. Elon Musk hailing Star's diatribe. Elon Musk, of course, has rolled through in support of his boy Woody. Woody Harrelson joked drug companies plotted the COVID-19 pandemic. The actor was hosting the comedy show SNL for the fifth time on Saturday night. Elon Musk praised Harrelson's comments on Twitter, calling them based. Whoa! Are you starting to feel an energy shift here? Let's watch the comments, ladies and gentlemen. Let's watch e uh, Woody Harrelson d delivering like a master class in how to like talk about an issue without directly talking about an issue. People who are geniuses at this, Jerry Seinfeld, Dave Chappelle, check out Woody Harrelson's monologue. The movie goes like this. The biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes and people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs and keep taking them over and over. I threw the script away. I mean, who is going to believe that crazy idea? Oh, <laughs> look at his face. Look at his face. The 61-year-old Midland, Texas native knows exactly what he's done there. He just dropped a black bill on this New York audience. And everybody in the audience is like, ha, 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 ha. The setup there is that this script is so banal and is so malevolent and evil that Woody Harrelson wouldn't do the movie because it's so evil. What are people saying about this online? Hodge twins. Woody Harrelson calling out Big Pharma on SNL is fire! ALX, uh, the executive producer of this show, also incredibly based. Give him a follow on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. What are we at? 358,000. We can get to a million. The biggest drug cartels in the world get together, buy up all the media and the politicians. Exactly. And then they force people uh, to say locked in their homes. Wow. Sounds particularly evil. Reminds me of something. Having a feeling Woody Harrelson won't be asked back on SNL again, says Robbie Starbuck. Ian Michael Chong, Woody Harrelson is based calls out the scamdemic for uh, what it is on SNL. Uh, hey, y'all, Woody Harrelson's opening monologue of SNL. This guy's flat out saying it. It's genius. Uh, and before you ask, no, I don't watch Saturday Night Live. Neither do we, but this was all over uh, the internet today and uh, for good reason. Woody Harrelson is not some small-time actor. He's not some up-and-comer. Woody Harrelson is one of the most accomplished actors in America. One of the most accomplished legacy actors uh, that is still working today. The uh, man from Toronto, Triangle of Sadness, Freak Brothers, Venom, Let There Be Carnage. He played Carnage in that. I mean, we're talking big blockbusters. This, this movie cost $250 million. Curb Your Enthusiasm. Okay, that's incredibly cool. Midway is a wonderful movie. Zombieland, uh, Double Tap, Highwaymen, Venom. Uh... True Detective is probably my favorite work that he's done. Uh, I let me know if you have a favorite Woody Harrelson movie uh, in the comment section. He's been in a lot of movies. You can see Saturday Night Live. He's hosted five times. Uh, True Detective, though, right down here in 2014, without question, my favorite. He was also in Hunger Games. You're talking a blockbuster, blockbuster actor. I mean, a, ma a man who they put hundreds of millions of dollars behind. So Woody Harrelson all the way back. You have some major classics here. Um, uh, uh, White Men Can't Jump, I think, is like the major the major breakthrough classic. Killer Instinct. 
uh, for Woody Harrelson. So anyway, I get, the point is is that you just, white man can't jump back here, uh, 1992. Uh, and cheers. I mean, come on, man. Woody Harrelson's just legendary. A legendary actor coming through and dropping, again, the reddest of red pills. Uh, get ready for the meltdowns, says End Wokeness SNL, calling out Big Pharma and COVID. They already started. Uh, uh, during the SNL monologue. Ah! So here's what's this from? Uh, Rolling Stone. It looks like big yikes. Woody Harrelson rambling SNL monologue is a conspiracy theory. Elon Musk hopping in. Maybe they don't realize that their propaganda is wrong. <laughs> Elon Musk having a great, a great time on the platform that he owns, twitter.com. Uh, Jason saying based and SNL based Saturday night live. Elon Musk. So based nice work. NBC, uh, Kanoa, the great Kanoa, the great love this account. Woody Harrelson, the biggest drug cartels in the world are getting together to buy up all the media, the media, Woody Harrelson spreads. Conspiracies. Woody Harrelson, Conspiracies, conspiracies, conspiracies. Variety, Daily Beast, Huffington Post, Rolling Stone. And Elon Musk says, bingo, you hit the target. Also, by the way, if you want uh, to know exactly how based you've become, Steve Bannon is sharing memes of Woody Harrelson. What is that about? Uh, MAGA knows how to take on corporations and the corporatists. This is a Woody Harrelson quote that has been shared by Steve Bannon. We live in a completely corrupted world. The government's a bunch of businessmen working with a bunch of big businessmen. None of them give an S about the people. The sad fact is nobody knows how to change it because nobody knows how to take on corporations. Dude, how based you have to be to get a Steve Bannon sh quote share. Very rare. Meme share. Very rare. From the great one, Steve Bannon. Not the first time, however, that Woody Harrelson has gone on corporate TV and dropped truth bombs. He did so in the long form podcast uh, that is run by Bill Maher, where, you know, Bill Maher like gets you drunk and high and, you know, you have a podcast presumably in like his basement somewhere in L.A. Uh, Woody Harrelson was dropping truth bombs about the government, saying that the last people on earth he would trust with his health is big government and big pharma. CDC promoting that we have to do all of these things, right? I just, I don't like profiteering in war, you know? Right. Think of the billions of dollars that have gone to big pharma. But I'm, I was getting back to my original point. The last people I would trust with my health is big pharma and big government because neither one of those strike me as caring entities. Spoken you know? as the perfect redneck hippie. <laughs> really, if that message doesn't, I mean, the, they're no, all about it, profit. Exactly, they're all about profit, and both sides and it's know that. the profit they've made. What the hell happened, Libs? I mean, it really makes you wonder. Like, did your balls fall off? What happened to you? What happened to the left? How did the left suddenly become in favor of big pharma, big corporations, and big war? World War Three. How did the left suddenly become simp's for the military-industrial complex? How are we on the right, the ones concerned about the environment? in East Palestine, Ohio, for instance. Like, what's going on here? How can the world switch so quickly? Well, it's because one group of people remained intellectually consistent and developing their worldview. The right has developed into a greater overall populist worldview that has attracted quite a few interesting cats like Elon Musk and Woody Harrelson, who are probably not like, you know, red-blooded MAGA, but are interested in the greater overall populism message, which is true, which is good, which is how this should operate. We should be attracting different minds, different people, people even like Jon Stewart, who I know has a absolutely cringe-inducing woke show on Apple TV. But before he got on those rants, man, he went on Stephen Colbert's show and just straight up said that the Wuhan lab was the or originator for COVID-19. So Stephen Colbert shamelessly tried to push back on him. The clip is copyright, so he can't play it for you. But Jon Stewart, I mean, give the man, broke clocks or right twice a day, straight up went on. You can find the clip everywhere. Go to Danny D. Urbina's, uh, Danny D. Urbina's uh, Twitter, and you can find it. Dude, uh, he straight up said, the 
Leak for COVID-19, the lab leak theory is correct. Obviously, it's true. Occam's razor is real. The least amount of assumptions. And we've been saying it for years. And look at this from today. The Wall Street Journal lab leak, most likely origin of COVID-19 pandemic. According to who? Your boy, Benny? Well, if you've been listening to me for three years, yeah. But no, according to the Energy Department now. The Energy Department under Joe Biden. You know, Joe Biden's the person that Woody Harrelson played on SNL. Uh, for a season. U.S. agency revised assessment is based on new intelligence. What is this? The U.S. Energy Department has concluded that the COVID pandemic likely arose from a laboratory leak, according to classified intelligence reports, uh, recently provided to the White House and key members of Congress. Now, what is that about? Now, I have a theory here, ladies and gentlemen, it's an important one. That's about Elon Musk having the do- like having the documents, knowing, knowing what's about to happen. Why do we say that? Well, Elon Musk has been hinting on Twitter that he has the Fauci documents and that he's about to expose Dr. Fauci for being the rat doctor that we know he is. Now, what do we know? Based on reporting, Dr. Fauci did use your tax dollars to fund gain of function research inside of Wuhan through an organization, shell organization called EcoHealth Alliance. It was illegal to do. Dr. Fauci did it anyway. He got around the U.S. government rules to do it. And it is gain-of-function research that took the unable-to-be-transmitted-to-human coronavirus of a horseshoe bat in southeastern China and made it transmissible to humans, adding a spike protein, which is the entry point to the human body. So it is Elon Musk, in fact, who apparently has some bombshell information, and now the U.S. government is trying to get out in front of that. Elon Musk has said publicly, wait and watch what's about to happen to Dr. Fauci. Truly the most, why would Dr. Fauci be out in front of this narrative and trying to slander anyone who said factually that just simple logic says that the gain of function research center in Wuhan that is doing work on coronaviruses, bat coronaviruses specifically, of which we know the original COVID was originated from, then with manipulation from a laboratory became transmissible to humans. Dr. Fauci funded it. That laboratory was in Wuhan. That was the start of the pandemic. And that's where it all comes from. Case closed, ladies and gentlemen. And Elon Musk says that he has information that will back that up authoritatively. And now, here we go, the Wall Street Journal straight up saying the Energy Department says, yep, that's actually what's happening according to U.S. intelligence. Yikes, baby. Yikes. What a based, what a based world we are living in. People are waking up. Good for Woody Harrelson. Good for SNL. Good for all these. Good, like, good for all these guys. Like, like, amazing. Amazing. Call call balls and strikes, baby. SNL is generally woke garbage that is not funny, but dude, way to knock it out of the park. Now, whether Woody Harrelson uh, uh, is going off script here, huh, or whether he actually got that by the censors at SNL, we're not sure. But it is live. And Woody Harrelson is an absolute king for going there. Good for him. So what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? What do you think? Are we suddenly seeing the change in energy and the shift towards a more independent populace, independent of big pharma, independent of big corporations, independent of big government who work hand in hand in a fascistic manner to oppress us? I certainly hope so. And I think that's a great bit of energy to end our Sunday a uh, little broadcast here on. It certainly makes me hopeful. I hope it does you too. We're fighting for a better America alongside of you. My name is Benny Johnson. See ya. Thank you for watching. Our channel's here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears, they taste just like sweet, delicious ice cream. Salty too. We ridicule the establishment and the libs because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you like what you saw, please punch the subscribe button, click like and ring the little bell so that you know when we're live. Don't you want to know when we're live? And make sure that you subscribe to our email list just in case the plug gets pulled as tends to happen. If you want to see more of our videos, click here or here. My name is Benny Johnson. Stay free. Base Patriots.